We've had mm, mentions of other franchises before, shall we say, in previous of fan course. facts. Yeah. And I think we may even have mentioned this one. It's a little tiny, little known sci fi franchise called Star Trek. Well, right, You've yes. You've heard of that one, have you? Oh, just a bit, yeah. But I'm sure I remember some years ago, you and me and uh, Lee Sullivan were at a convention in um, Llandudno. Yes. And, uh, and Lee was showing off his Star Trek communicator app. app. On his phone. Yeah, flipping it That's open. Right. And, yes. and you and he were really nerding out oh, about that. I was very jealous of that. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, everyone's jealous of Lee Sullivan. Now, oh, yeah. one of its most recent incarnations, in fact, a current incarnation, is Star Trek Discovery. Yes. The design of the title vehicle, the USS Discovery, was inspired by some Ralph McQuarrie artwork for a 1970s Star Trek movie project titled Planet of the Titans. Oh, yeah, okay. Nothing to do with Stingray. Mm. This was one of the first attempts to revive Star Trek after the original television series had been cancelled back in 1969. And the Macquarie artwork in question shows a redesigned Enterprise that looks very similar to Discovery. Yeah. A circular yeah. forward section mounted on a sort of triangular lower hull with engine yeah. attachments on the sides. Mm-hmm. So what's the Anderson connection, I can hear you asking You're, slash moaning. What is the Anderson connection? Thank you very much. Well, a fireball... There isn't one. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's this week's <laughs> gag fact. No, 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 no. Uh, well, the Fireball XL5 episode... Invasion Earth yeah. featured an alien spacecraft which looks very similar to the Discovery oh. and the planet of the Titans Enterprise. It was a circular forward section mounted on a triangular oh, lower hull with engine attachments on the side. Now, yeah. it could be a massive coincidence. Mm. The Macquarie redesign had to stick to the same basic shape as the original Enterprise, to be fair, until you realise that a certain Anderson alumnus yes. was attached to the project's model team, a Mr. Derek Meddings. Oh, really? So it's just possible that Derek had some input on that new design and maybe even drew it based on his memory of the yeah. Fireball XL5 alien ship design. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So, although Planet of the Titans never made it to the screen... That version of the Enterprise was built into a pair of study models, which are models given to uh, built to give a rough idea of how design might look in 3D. Oh, uh, yeah. And both actually eventually ended up on screen in Star Trek productions. Ah. Uh. One is in the Earth space dock in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Oh, uh, right. And the other turns up in a junkyard in the Next Generation episode, Unification Part One. Uh huh. Who is suspected of building those two models? That's is right. It, is it Derek Meddings? It's Derek oh, Meddings. Oh, really? Yes. Really? So Derek's influence pops up all over the place. Yeah. And here, although, you know, there's a little bit of conjecture about this, sure. I think it's fairly likely that Derek indirectly is responsible for the design of the Discovery in Star Trek Discovery. How's that? Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. I think we can claim that one, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, email yeah. CBS immediately and put in a, put in a, a so lawsuit. Cease and desist order, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll go down well. Yeah. No, obviously, I'd never dream such a thing if yeah. anybody from CBS is listening. Yes, yeah. No, it's lovely that that might have some, some Derek Meddings and therefore Anderson heritage. Yeah, that's great. Very nice. Hmm. Well, I think on that sort of uh, XL5 alien ship-shaped bombshell, mm-hmm. we can bring to a close... This week's XL5 Alien Ship Shape Bombshell Fact! <laughs> Come on, you'd enjoy it! In.